What is good, y'all? Welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., and I'm back at it again with another banger. In today's video, as you guys can see by the title and the thumbnail, we got the first mod for Vader going on today. I already did an unboxing. I didn't feel like doing one on video just because I've done this mod before to my previous Camaro, Mamba, but it is kind of different as far as the installation process goes because this is a 2021 and Mamba was the 2015. So with that being said, let's go ahead and hop in the whip, move it, get the hood popped and get started. I don't think that's ever gonna get old, man. Jesus, that active exhaust is just crazy. The car is completely filthy right now. You guys don't mind that. I will be giving it a shower this weekend. All right, y'all. So, as you guys can see, we got the beautiful LT1 with the stock intake manifold. Um, not manifold, but the stock intake with the sound tube mod so we will be doing the sound tube mod delete today um and we will be getting rid of this entire unit and replacing it with the rotofab which is in the back of the car so let me go grab that all right y'all before we go ahead and disassemble everything i'm gonna go ahead and get you guys some sound shots of the stock intake box with the sound tube mod and then after we go ahead and install the rotofab intake i'll get you guys some sound clips of that so you guys can see a comparison with the sound tube and without the sound tube i really don't know if it makes a difference but we're going to find out all right y'all just some quick rams now we're going to go ahead and start taking everything apart Let's get straight into it. The thing that I told myself I gotta start doing is wearing gloves um, when working on this car. Just because I got that Alcantara steering wheel, and I don't wanna mess it up too much, you know what I'm saying? With my dirty hands, you know, the dirty mittens will definitely destroy that. All right, y'all, so you're gonna grab a seven millimeter socket for these nuts right here. Let's go ahead and loosen both of them. loose should be able to pull that off but I'm gonna go ahead uh, I recommend to take uh, take that off first this one yeah just take that off right. see now money you know what I'm saying has done this before money's behind the camera for those of you who don't know back to the money machine tap in with my brother his stuff pops up right here but anyway um he's done this before on the green hornet so I've asked him to assist the kid because like I say I've never had a sound tube mod so my boy's gonna help me out with that. And you remove that. And uh, I, I got all this ready for you now. Yeah, you gotta just, yeah, just that 10 mil back there. So basically, uh, there's a 10 millimeter bolt. Uh, that connects the sound tube to the firewall so that you can actually hear it and that's the whole purpose of the sound tube So right now we're just trying to disconnect it. Rotofab if you buy the kit and uh, Has a kit that basically blocks off Yeah, right there that hole that's in the firewall So basically they have a kit that blocks that hole off uh, so you don't have to worry about that Now if I'm not mistaken, I know I have to use this on the new right. one um, but yeah, man, there goes the sound tube and the whole... This is, this is really easy to get out of here. What I, what I did to mine, bro, all I did was just... Rotate, rotate yeah. it out? Yeah, twist it out. So, with that being said, y'all, we're going to go ahead and start the assembly of the Rotofab um, intake box with the filter and start putting everything together. So basically, we're going to be working backwards now. Opening up the box, you get what the filter itself connects to inside of the box, uh, the filter's housing, and you get all of your hardware. I always love Rotofab's packaging. You get the intake tube, your big old intake filter. Sheesh, that joint is huge. And then the box. The box itself. 
just got the this is basically like Chevy's catch can if you guys will so should we go ahead and just knock this out yeah, real that, quick? That, that'll be the easiest thing to knock out so you don't have to worry about that yeah exactly let's go ahead and get that covered and again guys uh, if you didn't see it's basically this hole right here uh, this hole right here in the firewall right there where my fingers at I'm basically just gonna put that little where is it at? this little piece right here just gonna push this into it and then I believe we put the 10 millimeter bolt um, to secure it and then you don't have any issues alright y'all so I got the sound to delete uh, basically mounted right now I'm not sure if you guys can see that or not let me see if I can zoom in um, it should be right there the block off plate is now installed as you guys can see 10 millimeter bolt and then the block off plate that they provided my boy money has already gotten started with taking off the map sensor from the old uh, oh yeah so he already swapped it out appreciate you my brother you know what I'm saying so now we're gonna go ahead and get started by mounting this into the intake box itself and then we can go ahead and install that into the car and then it's just as simple as putting the elbow on re uh replugging the PCV valve um, and starting the car up and seeing how she sounds now I know this joint's probably gonna be clean as hell, but just wanna take a look at that throttle body real quick. Just wanted to make sure it is super clean, so that is good, man. But, <sighs> y'all drop a comment down below right now and let me know what you guys think about Venom so far, man. I ain't even gonna lie, I love this car. I can't wait till my brother gets what he gonna get. I don't know, should we, should we hint? No, can't, I can't wait till all my brothers are lined up with me, man. But. With that being said, let's go ahead. Let me go ahead and stop you, though, because you, uh, you, you said it again. What did I say? Oh, Vader. Yeah. Vader. <laughs> God damn. That's why you was looking hey. at me like that? Yeah, that's what I did. Hey, people, y'all, y'all, drop a comment. Should he call it Venom? No. <laughs> bro, you keep saying Venom. Nah, I can't call it Venom, bro. Nah, I can't call it Venom, bro. That's disrespectful. That's dis that's re that's disrespectful. I can't do that. This is Vader. Vader right here. Venom. R.I.P. My nigga Venom, man. But this Vader right here, bro. I just keep doing it because I'm so used to saying Venom. Um, and that's the only car that we've had in the fleet that started with a V. So I'm sorry. Excuse me, y'all. I'm sorry, Vader. My bad. I apologize. Okay. I apologize. But yeah, man. Got that. Uh, got all that taken care of. Now we're about to go ahead get the intake box and the filter installed and we'll update you guys as we go got my boy back to the money installing the little tube that look speaking of speaking of my boy Les big versatile speed man so so I I keep fucking up and saying Venom but you gotta you gotta understand brother that was the only car that we had that started with a V you know what I'm saying so I keep messing up exactly but brother Brother man over here got disrespectful. He was like, drop a comment down below and let him know if he should call it Venom. Why the hell would I disrespect you like that? Like, come on, bro. You can't disrespect Venom like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it don't work like that. told your cousin name is called Venom, huh? Damn. Replace him, eh? Not cuz-o. I'm gonna put put the hand out with it. Damn. That's crazy. But yeah, man, as you guys can see, my boy just got that little uh, piece installed. Now this basically takes the Chevy's version of a catch can and connects it to the intake tube. You want to get a comparison between? Oh, you already did the stocking. I just I got him a little rev. I got him. I got him a couple revs, man. You know. There it is compared to you know. No weight Inlet. difference. It feel the same. The in it, inlets are the same too. Yeah, it's about the same. The box don't. I don't think the box make a difference. Oh, it just don't have that grooves, and it's not as caved in. See the stock one caved in right there. The new one's smooth, so no restrictions when that air coming in, y'all. Oh shit was already perfect the way we wanted them and the way, shit. The way we had our car. <laughs> oh boy, I thought you was talking about the goddamn intake oh, box. Oh no. Well, y'all niggas taking a trip down memory lane. Hell yeah, cause he was like, I don't miss this shit. <laughs> Okay, brothers. That's a big and, and more aggressive lump of things. 
Appreciate you as well, Mr. Versatile Speed. Just recording, man. Just behind the camera with it. Just you're welcome, you're welcome. Make sure you get the little inlet. You know what I'm saying? So you can get it over it? Yeah, I'm Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. see? See, that's why he's here. And that's the easy part. Now this thing. You got it? I think that's it. I wish there was some kind of pop or uh, securement yeah. reassurance, yeah, uh, man. some audible reassurance, you know, you that know it's what? in there. I agree with you, man. But Rotofab didn't I do that. They should have done the same thing as well. Just give me some kind of like a tick, a talk, or maybe even a boom. Something? Oh, no, not the boom. Okay, maybe just the tick-tock. I don't like the boom. You can't oh, say boom. That, that's a sensitive oh, topic. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. That shit got real dark real quick, god damn it. Alright. Hit that hole like that. What are you guys over here doing, huh? My name's Jim Bob. I'm just a little confused. My boy say my name is Jim Bob. I wanna make sure it's nice and secured. Let me make sure it's nice and secured. Just one problem there, sir. It's a little bit crooked. What? The bend went what? crooked. It's all no. right. Don't say that. Yeah. <laughs> Five minutes later. All right. There it is. Nice and snug like a hug. Wait, 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 wait. You're moving too fast, man. You're moving too fast. My guy. We got to connect Chevy's oil catch can. That's my deal. I know. I wanted to do it while it was off. So we can show J.I. Squad what it looks like. Man, I, I'm just in that bitch like Lego. Like, <laughs> that's, that's why you're that. here. Because I knew you were going to be in that bitch like... As y'all can see, I wasn't a part of the fist bump. That means I ain't contribute. That's some bullshit. I helped a little bit. <laughs> Hop in my boy Vader right now, give him a startup. We're gonna get my boy Versatile, he's gonna get the angle of the intake, see if you can hear it on startup, hear the air, you know what I'm saying? Get That's why I wore the gloves. Just touch the steering wheel right now if I wanted to. Supposed to do that. <laughs> that hoe moved on the startup. I guess it sucked in that much air. We're gonna let it warm up and then I'll give it a couple reps for y'all. You got to see the startup though. That motherfucker shook. For real? Hell yeah. It's tight though, but that bitch, it shook. It's good, that bitch doing his job right now. That's what I was thinking, it just sucked in a lot of air. Oh, it ain't used to that. Yeah. But, that being said, man, I think it didn't. Yeah, he 
need to relax a little bit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead. There it is. Now it's now it's relaxing. We we'll get in there, and give it a couple rests for y'all, and let's see what it sounds like. With all that being said, as you guys can see, that's going to complete today's install, the first ever modification done to my boy Vader, man, Rotofab, intake Q, shout out to my guys, back to the money, the versatile speed behind the camera, I really appreciate y'all, man, you know what I'm saying, if you haven't already, make sure you smash that subscribe button, give this video a big thumbs up, and drop a comment in the comment section down below, turn those post notifications on, because I got nothing but bangers coming for you guys, we got trucks pulling up behind us, making all that ruckus, you know what I'm saying, but yeah, man, Got the Roto Fab installed. So many more things coming for the car, interior wise, exterior wise, and motor wise. So make sure you guys are just stay tuned. Go tap in with my brothers. They got some crazy ass builds coming to their channels too. I'm gonna see y'all in the next one. Peace.